We used to believe that roughly 1% of the population had Peyronie's disease. Then later on, studies in Germany found that roughly 3.2% of patients suffer from the disease. And more recently, studies in the United States show that up to 9% of men have Peyronie's disease. But I think conservative estimates would say roughly 5% of men have Peyronie's disease. The most common way men develop Peyronie's disease is through trauma, an abnormal buckling of the penis, typically during intercourse. At this point, you have an abnormal wound healing process that occurs where you get increased scar formation. When the scar develops, as the patient gets an erection, the curvature develops at the scar. For example, if the scar develops on the right side of the penis, the patient will curve to the right. If the scar develops on the left side of the penis, the patient curves to the left. The most common location for the scar is on top of the penis, and that's why most patients curve upward. Other causes could be due to urethral instrumentation, it could be due to following radical prostatectomy, or just trauma, external trauma to the penis. We also believe that there could be a genetic component to the disease. We know that roughly 2% of men have a family history of Peyronie's disease. 